Hey guys. Hey, uh, this is not about uh, production value. It's uh, I'm taking a trip uh, this morning by myself to Lebanon, Tennessee. It's uh, probably 30, 45 minutes from my house to pick up some uh, plants for my wife. Uh, springtime here, so we're ready for uh, outdoor activities. So she needs some ferns and plants and things like that. And I started thinking about something. I can't look at the camera because I'm driving, so I don't want to get in trouble. Hey, what about my hat though? Uh, paint and pod, paint and paper podcast. My friend David Cook. Hey, if you guys will send me a hat, I'll wear your hat too. A bunch of guys have sent me hats. I love hats. I love wearing them. This is a good looking hat, David. Thank you uh, for sending me that. Uh, paint and paper podcast. He's about to release that, so y'all check it out. But this has nothing to do whatsoever with uh, with that. I wanted you guys to ride along with me. I wanted to talk to you about something that's uh, pretty important to me. And I titled this uh, like raw, like this is a raw testimony about uh, my accountability group. And I started thinking through it really a little bit more this morning. And uh, we meet every Friday morning at six o'clock. And uh, I was thinking about it before I hit play and uh, streaming this live video. But I've been doing accountability now for just under 30 years. Uh, I've met every week with some accountability partners. This is my third group over a 30 year period. And I started thinking about the value of it this morning and why it was so important to me and why I continue to do that week after week, year after year, decade after decade, literally. And it's that important to me. I thought about some of the questions that were asked this morning. And uh, some of the things that we do, we have the strength uh, to make good decisions. Uh, and, and I don't really need any accountability. It's like I got that. But there's some areas of our lives that uh, we need people asking us directly those hard questions. Now, a lot of you guys may be saying, oh, I got it all figured out, I'm Superman, uh, I don't need anybody in my life asking me those personal questions, and uh, I'm a man of iron, I'm a man of steel, I got it all down. Well, I wanna, I wanna warn you, <laughs> I want you to be careful, because when we start thinking that, uh, we're gonna get ourselves in trouble. And so yesterday I was sitting out on the patio. I got home about an hour early and I was kind of going over my taxes, things that, uh, that I need to finish up before Monday because it's that dreaded day, tax day. And there was a check that I remembered getting in March. I get a check every year from uh, MH Outdoor Media Company there in Texas piece of property I leased to them and I didn't remember giving it to the CPA and uh, I thought dead gum I already got to pay all these taxes thought I had it down pat but I still got some taxes to pay and I sat there and I wrestled with the decision just to be honest with you I thought man do I call my CPA and tell him tell him this or do I maybe catch up on it next year or forget about it and then I thought about my accountability group I said, you know, those guys are gonna ask me tomorrow about uh, integrity and did I do the right thing? And I, I wrestled with it. I'm just being honest, <laughs> totally transparent. I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. Turn, I already owe plenty. And uh, golly, I'm just gonna forget it. Then I thought, man, I can't teach integrity to all these guys at our mastermind groups. And, and so my point is, is I was wrestling with this decision. I was like, golly. So I picked up my phone, I texted my CPA, and I said, hey man, here's this check, dead gum it. I just wanted to tell you, I don't think I told you about it, and I don't think you picked up on it, and add it to the return. Well man, about five minutes later, I get a text back, he said, we already got it. And I thought, praise God, I was so excited. I was like, man, I am so glad, because it was gonna make a huge difference in what I was gonna have to pay Monday but I thought about my accountability group. I thought they're gonna ask me these questions about integrity. The other day I was at the gym and this girl walks by in these, you know, exercise pants or spanks or whatever you call them. And 
Whoever who invented those needs to be shot right between the eyes. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's this temptation. But Robin's at home praying for my eyes, right, that I'm not tempted. Guys are tempted. And I knew that one of the questions Friday was going to be, uh, how's your thought life and are you struggling? And I'm like, it, it made me focus on the right thing. I was like, no, I'm going to. I'm going to do the right thing because I've been married 38 years and that girl's not for me to look at and Robin loves me and she prays for me every day and I know my accountability group's going to ask me those questions and it gave me the strength, you know what I'm saying, not to, to go there. I could give you example after example. So many areas of my life, you know, that I need help and I need strength and I know you guys do too. And I started thinking, that's why I go for accountability. When I went this morning, you know, Chris asked me, said, uh, how you and Robin doing? And you guys having date nights? And I'm like, golly, you know what? I've not been doing it at all like I should. Robin and I have been talking about it. I love to work, and I've got to get back on it. So we're going to take a little day trip tomorrow, and we're going to hang out. My point is, is not to be legalistic about it. My point is, is not to say, oh, man, if you don't have this accountability group, in your life that uh, that you're wrong. But my point is, is there's so many areas that I need strength and I need guys to ask me those tough questions because I don't know where my life would be if I didn't have that. I don't know the decisions maybe like yesterday with the taxes, if I would have made the right decision. And I'm not sure that I wouldn't linger longer on the thoughts, you know, when I see something that I really shouldn't look at or that I'm tempted to look at without this level of accountability and when the guys get on me in our accountability group they like you know you need to make sure you're taking care of robin like you should and doing the right things and and i just don't know that i got the wherewithal to make all the right decisions all the time that's all i'm saying so when i was thinking about my life and the 39 years that i've been an entrepreneur and uh the people that i've tried to be influencers over the people that i've tried to help I just don't know that I would have made the right decisions had I not had trusted advisors in my life, if I'd not surrounded myself with people that could breathe life into me. So I was thinking about it as I was driving to Lebanon. I got a phone call there. I need to return that guy's phone call to me. But I, I got to periodically evaluate myself. But I promise you that my life would have been radically different uh, over the course of 30 years had I not had that level of accountability. Now, it's painful. Those guys ask personal questions. They get all off up in my business, and they ask me about my finances and integrity questions and being a good leader and an influencer, and it's valuable. So I just wanted to share that this morning. Uh, this wasn't about you know, me on the greenway or in my front yard and coming to you live. And it wasn't, listen, I'm sorry that the production value is not real good on this video, but... I want you to be involved in these groups if you think it will help you. I want you to pray about getting involved in a group of men uh, that, that can take you to that next level. Your wives need to be in groups. You know, they need to be sharpening iron as well. They need to be helping each other go to that next level. And man, when you, when you live that way, when you live this kind of authenticity and transparency, it doesn't eradicate these temptations from your life, but it certainly gives you the strength to deal with it and makes you a better man. Well, guys, have a great day. I guess I better pull over here and get these shrubs and these plants for Robin. I hope you guys have an amazing day today. I hope that uh, this Friday the 13th, I looked that up today. We only have two Friday the 13th and one of them is today. But I think it's going to be an amazing day. Hey, I'm Big A. I got to get out of here. We'll see y'all. Have a good one.